I'll give it back. Um, green quarter quest, crest, um, loser and scrutinize. Didn't really find anything interesting. I did somehow find a way to make my allure stronger. Did not find a way to make my scrutinize stronger. And bartering. My bartering also improved from this dude, I think. But not my scrutinize. And that's bad because I have failed so many scrutinizes here that I think I've restored my reputation two or three times. So... Uh, Cyrus is costing me quite a bit of money at this point. Also... I uh, found the lady with the dragon egg. Uh, all I had to do was uh, guide this old man over to her and they, he verified that the dragon egg is real and that the lady should go to Orwell to find a volcano, volcano heat stone or something because the egg needs the heat of like a lot of heat to hatch. So, so I guess uh, next time I find her I will click the recording button so we can see. Maybe we will see an, a dragon. But for the time being, nothing happened. Just sent her on her way to Orwell. Uh, also, found an interesting... Uh, some interesting items here. Elemental attack, 92. That's uh, a pretty good improvement. Doesn't cost a lot of money. Hill Cleaver. 221 attack plus critical. That is a pretty chunky upgrade. It's expensive, but it's pretty good. Heavy Lance. I mean, it's good, right? I'm thinking about the Hill Cleaver, honestly. I think I should get it. How much is the current weapon? Uh, it's a pretty good weapon. I might buy it. Yeah, I'll buy this. Expensive, but I'll buy it. 92 elemental. Is that good? Oh no, that's not good. <laughs> Never mind. I also think I'm gonna wait with the spear. It's not that much. But it's not that big a deal. It's not expensive, but nah. I only use the spear to break, uh, break spear armor, anyways. So it's not like a big deal. This is also not a major improvement for. Uh, Ophelia. It's actually a downgrade for Ophelia. <laughs> now, before we move on, there's one thing I need to do. First, I need to take off... Dancer job on Cyrus. Also, take off the mercenary job on Cyrus. We'll turn the cleric into an erotic dancer. Because that's just what we do to innocent religious people here. Um, then we... That's a good one. Well, Night Ode is very good. Elemental attack. Well, not defense. Speed, elemental shift. I don't think that's the one. I'm trying to get... Oh wait, SP saver is merchant. Oops. I may have screwed up there. Status augmentations you grant to allies will persist for one... Oh, well, that's great. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Overhealing, pretty good. Increase the party's success rate when attempting to flee. Eh. Endless item. Eh. Ally status enhancements. Wait, what's the difference between status enhancements and 
status augmentations. Let's not touch that for a m moment. At least we have it unlocked. That's the most important thing. Uh, we go with... Rest. And... Uh, Trade Tempest. SP saver is quite uh, far away. Yeah, we need to bring. Uh, we need to have Ophelia on our, in our party for a while. Fortunately, I was kind of thinking of maybe running Ulbrick with a cleric support, and then having either Tressa or Alfin, one or the other. Maybe, maybe uh, uh, Alfin with a merchant support. And then I don't entirely sh I'm not entirely sure what to do with uh, Cyrus. Cyrus just shoots stuff. It's basically like a cannon. So having anything else seems like a waste. Because I won't really have time to do anything else. I don't know yet. We'll see what we do here. And then uh, Thief with... Uh, Ulbrich. As an assassin, pure damage. Uh, yeah, and let me just switch back here, I think. He was a dancer. Dance. Where is <laughs> Dancer man. Anyways. Uh, so, yeah. For the time being, I'm gonna keep... Haunted in the party. Because I want her to learn the... Um, Final move, but yeah. And uh, so, what are we gonna test? Well, to begin with, we're gonna do uh, Cyrus's mission here. But also, we need to test what the hell those differences are: status augmentation and status enhancement. Was that it? What is the difference? Status enhancement. Status augmentation. I'm fairly certain the one that Ophelia has now, which is status enhancement, does not buff the duration of uh, Reflective Veil. That's the one I want to buff. I don't really care about the other stuff. I just want to be able to cast a two hit Reflective Veil without boosting. Oh, I don't have her in my party, that's why it's great. At. Okay. Hoping to solve the mysteries behind a certain ancient tome, you head to Quarry Crest here. Here you seek out Odette, the former colleague, who may be able to shed some light on the matter. Yes. Story so far Cyrus left the academy behind in search of the lost tome. From the far reaches of hell, it, its disappearance was a riddle. Wrapped in a mystery, a riddle that piqued his scholarly curiosity. Even suffering the indignity of losing his post was a small price to pay for the opportunity of solving his fascinating, this fascinating puzzle. And so did Cyrus come to Quarry Crest to call upon an old colleague who just might have the answer he seeks. So this is Quarry Crest. It's hard to believe it's been 10 whole years since Oda left the academy. And her house was... Ah, oh, that's right. She left directions in her letter. Should take another look. You have all the makings of a great scholar, Cyrus. But allow me to offer you a word of warning. For all your intellect, you have always been clumsy in matters of the heart. Call it clumsy. Clueless is a better word. I know that your research is more important to you than anything. But you should do well to give some, uh, give some thought to how you treat the fairer sex. You are more handsome than you give yourself credit for. If 
you are not careful, you might find your words and actions misconstrued by those around. I should have known better than to read that again. The first time I read it, I nearly fell over laughing. Now it seems almost prophetic. Do you think I'd be banished from the academy because of a trumped up scandal like that? You can just see that laughing at me the moment I mention it. Now then! There's no point worrying, I have to face her sooner or later, after all. To keep myself presentable, this is true. But is my face truly so easy on the eyes? Oh, woe is me. What? Doomed to never realize the full depth of my good looks and charisma. Dude, stop talking. If you'll forgive me. Professor, may I ask what the letter was about? It seemed most engrossing. <laughs> oh, that it was a message warning me about women. Huh? Oh, I don't mean in a bad way. What I actually said was that I should be careful how I act toward women, lest I give cause for misunderstandings. Well, intelligence such as yours can be very attractive. Please, my dear. A word such as attractive must be kept in reserve for those of great beauty such as yourself. I think maybe that's the kind of thing a letter writer was talking about. <laughs> think so, but I was merely speaking my mind. Am I not allowed to tell a beautiful woman that she is just that? Well, sometimes you can't, but maybe in your case, you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm finding this most difficult to understand. Why is everybody hitting on Ophelia? Even clueless Cyrus doesn't know how to hit on anyone. He's hitting on Ophelia. <laughs> Is this... No. By the way, this guy is ludicrously strong. Trying to break in here is gonna be pretty challenging. And the reason why I want Ulbrich over... Um, Hanit as my challenger in the party is because I think Ulbrich actually... With Ulbrich you're allowed to use... Um, Secondary skills, like skills in general. And if you have the apothecary equipped for dueling purposes, you can just use first aid and poison and stuff like that to make things easy. Hanit has to use her summons. Here we are. Yes, yes, I'll be right there. It's been some time, Odette. <laughs> Not even a hello. <laughs> You're still here. I guess I'm not suffering from fatigue induced hallucinations after all. It's me, Odette, in the flesh. Good to see you as hale and hearty as ever. And you're as insufferable as ever, no doubt. What are you waiting for? Come in already. Don't mind if I... Oops. <laughs> How did I know that would be your reaction? We were practically joined at the hip back in the day. Just watching you go about was fun in and of itself. I always had a hunch you'd end up in trouble with the ladies, but to think it would happen with the princess of all people. Somehow, you've managed to exceed even my wildest expectations. By expelling me, they hope to protect Her Highness's good name. Needless to say, there's no truth in any of this. 
<laughs> oh, of course, of course. I'm sure it's all as you say. Her Highness and this Therese are just your pupils. They have no romantic interest in you in the slightest. You're something else, Cyrus. But it's a relief to find your powers of observation are as keen as ever. Uh huh. Well, did you come all this way just to entertain me? If so, congratulations on a job well done. Save your congratulations for another time. I've come in search of a certain tome. Are you perchance familiar with From the Far Reaches of Hell? A cheery title if I've ever heard one. I can tell you that it's a compendium of ancient rites and rituals. Not that I've read it myself, of course. I know that much. I was hoping you could tell me more. Not much more. It touches upon necromancy, I believe. Necromancy? Necromancy. That said, as to what extent, I know little. Is that so? Ah. Damn. Voice acting is over. Is that so? I was sure that if anyone could enlighten me, it would be you. Give me a break. Is that supposed to be flattery? Alright, just give me some time. As soon as I tackle a little pickle I'm dealing with at the moment, I'll do some investigation. Investigate. Uh -huh. Ooh, a pickle, you say? Consider my interest peaked. I always took you for the type who chewed up and spit out your problems before pickles they could become. <laughs> Again, I find your flattery lacking. Anyhow, since you're here, perhaps I can put you to use. As it, as it happens, a number of people have gone missing of late. Under suspicious circumstances, I presume? Naturally. Naturally. Just so, many quite literally seem to have been spirited away. One soul went to the neighborhood provisioner to buy some food stuff and never returned. Another turned a street corner only to vanish entirely, leaving his friend who was strolling with him in disbelief. All told, ten men and women have gone missing in such a fashion in the past half year. Most intriguing. How curious indeed. <sighs> Don't look so disappointed, you nutshell. <laughs> so how about it? Do you have any ideas? It would be imprudent to jump to conclusions without conducting an investigate. Great. Great, thanks. I knew I could count on you. I'll look into that tome while you're away. As you wish. A fair trade, I'd say. Though I dare say that having the opportunity to solve this peculiar puzzle is a reward in itself. I see. Figures while happy investigating. First, I should ask that where precisely the kidnapping have occurred. Cool. Well, now we just go uh, button simulator a little bit. Sewers. In broad daylight and in the dead of night. Now then. <laughs> and with that, I do believe I have all the knowledge I need to crack the case. Oh crap. I, I don't know, provisioner? No? Not exactly. No, can't be right. Let me consider this. Okay, well. Not e wow, I suck. <laughs> Nerdy. 
Hmm. Every victim was in the general vicinity of the inn when they disappeared. When can we can say with absolute certainty that they did not vanish into thin air or some such nonsense? At all hours. That part I got. Hmm. As such, it stands to reason that they were kidnapped. I mean, there is a cave right next to the inn there. You know, like straight up a meter to the right. And that the kidnapper made use of a hidden path or passage to evade the public eye. Caught the sewers. There we go. The entrance of the sewers would seem to make for an ideal escape route. Yes, doubtless the culprit stole underground stole underground to spirit his victims away. Thusly. Okay, he does uh, have a look for himself down there. Cool. Let's go, boss fight, boss fight, boss. Aha! There we are. From the looks of it, these aqueducts predate the founding of this village. There's a good chance many of the villagers are unaware of uh, this existence. This calls for a thorough investigation. Thorough, not thorough. But I must be wary, for I know the culprit could be lurking in the shadows as I speak. I will proceed with caution. After all, it simply wouldn't do if I became a vi villain's latest victim. Interesting. It looks like someone has been coming in and out of these sewers. As we suspected, muddy footprints on the floor and the handprints on the walls. Recent too, the mud is still wet. I see, this is very useful information. I must say, you have a keen eye to spot such soul signs. It's just experience. I'll bet experience I never thought would be useful to you. <laughs> Your experience is a result of careful study and gives you valuable skills, you see. Oh, but we don't have time for a discussion now. However interesting, perhaps I'll share my insights later. Don't worry about it, your lectures give me a headache. <laughs> Too honest? A little, yes. <laughs> that actually reminds me of something. Back in high school... Um, there was this one class... That... Honestly, it was quite boring. <laughs> Uh, not that I wasn't paying attention, I did well on the tests, but uh, it was boring in class, so my teacher wants to talk to me after class and was like, why don't you ever raise your hand and participate? Like, and she was like, it's okay to be shy and stuff like that, and I'm like, I'm not shy, I'm just bored. <laughs> and she was like, oh, well, okay then, <laughs> and that was it. <laughs> and that actually happened. I could see on her face she was literally 0% ready for that response. Quick. Out of my way. And then I left. Anyways. What do we have? We need to light. Damn. It's kind of bad. Staff, wind, light. Ugh. I appreciate it, really. Hopefully they're weak, though. Come in, if thou dares. This doesn't look like it. Oh, what horrible weakness. Uh... This is, this is awful. 
what is the logical course of action? Okay, hopefully they're fairly weak. This is awful because I have to now use Ophelia as the main damage. And that's gonna cost a lot of SP. She's not exactly high on the offensive side. They're almost dead. Down here. Need to get some of that money that Cyrus lost. Coming, if thou darest. Thou didst fight with courage. The stuff there uh, down here is going to be a little bit of a grind, actually. Snipe saber. What? Accuracy 78. Fizz attack 115. 120. Not worth it, I think. I don't miss all that much, so. Letting us begin. Out of my way. Okay, got some lightning weakness, that's good. <laughs> that wasn't a lot. Um, Out of my way. I think I'm gonna. They're all gonna get to attack, though. Kinda sucks. Letting my arrow fly in true. I was I thinking about the maybe using like stealing and doing that stuff. I'll do my best. Um It's gonna be able to attack, so. Okay, what a waste. I thought it would die. Not out. I have to take a turn to heal anyway. I'm just gonna, just gonna do some stealing, collecting. My turn now. If you don't mind. That's not a lot of money. Letting my arrow fly in true. I shall attend him to thee. My turn. You too. So I should be back. It's actually not that much. And that's that. What's the point of this route? Come on, I've got better things to do. Shadow weakness. An interesting dilemma. I'll hit for a firestorm here. Let's see if maybe I can kill one. Let's go. <laughs> Just going for a hornet. <laughs> or a hornet. <laughs> Okay, 
Not just Honda. Okay, let's kill this dude. And by kill, I mean not kill. Time to do some healing. Coming, if thou darest. Yeah. An interesting dynamic. Do you want to see what the weakness is? Wind, okay. They actually deal quite a bit of damage. An interesting dynamic. Like, it's a chunk of damage. Let the night consume all. You should have studied harder. Right. I don't think there's anything back there. We already found the purple chest, so. What's done here? <laughs> I wasn't expecting that thing. Okay. He's weak to dagger. Just take the money. Um. Problem is, those uh, little things aren't gonna. Break. What is the logical course of action? All right. Can take some hits from those. That was a mistake, I should have uh, luminescence with uh, Ophelia. Out of my way. Try this. Let in the hunt begin. Can I capture these. the mossy thing. What was this? Millennial Frond. I don't know what this is. Great healing mists. They do deal a little bit of damage. The magic, the casters deal a chunky piece of damage. Let's go grab the chest first. Time to teach you a lesson. Out of my way. Much I can do. I appreciate it, really. Come in, if thou darest. Let's uh, summon something. Uh. Okay. I mean, I didn't have to do that. I kind of knew what it was gonna do. A little bit of a waste, not gonna lie. My turn now. May the sacred shine forth. 
should have boosted that. That's okay. Let my arrow fly in true. Summon this one. Those ratkins are pretty cool, not gonna lie. Thus ends your lesson. Yeah, we'll heal with Ophelia because she's about to level. If we're quick on Cyrus's thingy today, I'm gonna do the Tressas as well. Most intriguing. I do say to think there was such an elaborate structure, such elaborate structures under the surface. What happened? <gasps> Is are uh, those blood? I guess Jarvis? Seems like it. Seems like it's also connected to the person hanging there. Mm -hmm. Or was. He's dead. What in the But what in the heavens is this? It's as if the blood was drained from his body. And what is this atop these strange patterns? Clearly, some bale, baleful sorcery has been practiced here. It couldn't be. These gemstones, why, if my hypothesis is correct, it couldn't be. They must be composed of crystallized human blood. And yet, it is as if a myriad hues of red are mixed together. Could it be that each gem contains the blood of multiple victims? B preposterous! Good gods, what horrors have been wrought here? How many innocents have been victimized by this blood-sucking sorcerer? At least now we know the motive behind the kidnappings. Hmm. The villain we are dealing with is no common criminal. No, I'm loath to even call him a human being. Why? I'll S be sucking the life from the men and women of this poor town only to cast them away. This is a veritable demon who walks am This is a veritable demon who walks among us. One thing is clear, this monster must be stopped before he can commit any more vile deeds. As an academic, I must confess that the history of the dark arts intrigues me. But to put them into practice, this is truly beyond p the pale. <gasps> what is this? <laughs> What if all death is actually the blood sorcerer? Huh? The young lady in the cell, she's still alive. That's not what he said, but whatever. I must free her, lest her suffer the same fate as the others. And who might you be? Just a scholar of no particular repute. I was passing through and could not help but notice these odd gemstones. Are they perhaps your work? And these strange glyphs, are they not runes of High Hornbergian? Are they now? The tomes of ancient Hornberg were lost long ago. No ordinary scholar would be privy to this knowledge. But how could any self-respecting academic perform such horrors? Ho oh, ho! Seems you're more of a scholar than you give yourself credit for.
They still live, yes? If you know what's best for you, you'll free them at once. Well, since you asked so nicely, no, I think not. <laughs> A shame. If only you hadn't come poking around in my secrets, I wouldn't have minded picking your brain. Now I'll have to settle for sucking your blood! I cannot fail! Alright. Weak to life, that sucks. Okay. <laughs> Oh crap, I feel that doesn't have much in terms of uh SP. I'll not be defeated. <sighs> do I have rest? I do. Give me back. If you excuse me. Let my arrow fly in true. Let's see. <sighs> no. What is the logical course of action? What? Twenty six K, gotcha. Animate bones. What next? Okay, weak to axe. I'm guessing they're weak to fire. Probably not weak to light or sword. Maybe spear. Well, our cleric friend. Oh crap, I was supposed to test this uh, reflective veil stuff, right? I will reflect your barbs. Well, let's see, it only lasts for one turn, so. I really gotta share this. Keep it up. Blood mages are dangerous. Mm. Arrow storm. Ah. Rain of arrows. Rain and arrows up on them. Yeah, they're not weak to arrow bone arrow either. Well, what next? I want to find out what they're weak to. Ah, of course. Well then. Gonna have to take a few hits. Actually, nah. Let's uh, at least stop one of them from hitting us. Yeah. Okay. Over here. My turn. Let's work on setting up those veils. <laughs> Okay, um, Beast Lore. One of you have healing stuff, right? Ooh. Okay. Protect yourself. Even though she's overhealed up to 5,000. I've screwed up the ordering a lot, actually. My turn. It's fine. We'll deal with this. He's almost dead. Really? Yep. What is the logical course of action? A great inferno to scorch the land. <sighs> I can't boost. That's fine. I think I'm gonna go with amputation. That did not do much. Can't boost? Oh, I can. This one can boost. Uh, Therion. Put protection on you. And, um. Share experience over here. I 
think it's gonna cast again? It might. Let's save Cyrus in case it does. That's okay. Ophelia has like 5,000 HP. <laughs> she can tank like hell. I'll do my best. Okay. Next one that needs some protection. Cyrus. I will protect your barbs. And the next turn will be protected. Let's just go for it. Right. Um. Well then. Let the veil. Haunt it. God, this skill is so good. Who needs elemental defense when you can just do that? It's too good, honestly. Ratkin. Actually, let's go with Highland Ratkin instead. Let's go with damage. Jesus, those Ratkins are so strong. Um, let's just break this. Yeah. ELSP. Need some of that back. Thank you. What is the logical course of action? Actually, want to give Ophelia some items here. How about this? I'll not be defeated. So I can set up a reflective veil on Cyrus, and then basically we're good to go. I'll do my best. Unable to collect. Well, that sucks. I'm just gonna keep uh, putting up I Reflexor. Letting the hunt begin. Get Ratkin again. I don't need to. I mean, this is basically over now, isn't it? Able to steal, that makes this very easy. We just do this. For eight turns. <laughs> Ophelia still hasn't reached regular life pool yet. <laughs> I appreciate it, really. Now, what Imagine having overhealing on everyone, speed. and then at the start of the turn you just boost... Or somewhere along the turn you just boost everybody's HP up with the... Uh, with that thick. I'll not be defeated. Oh, just... Put up more. Who's next? Ophelia. So let me just try something. So Reflective Veil does not work. In terms of getting it extra. Getting extra turns. What about this? Augment one ally's elemental defense for two turns. Please protect us. You got two turns out of that, not three. Out of my way. So what is enhanced then? I'm not going to use more Ratkins here. Yes, uh, An oh, that. Okay. Ends your 
good experience. Not a lot of money. Gideon's Dagger. Interesting. Phew, they're still alive after all. What in the... What is this? Couldn't be. A copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell? That's the book he's investigating. Well, that's unfortunate. It's but an abridged copy translated into the modern tongue. Hmm. And aside from basic instructions on performing the rites and the regions required... All other details have been all but omitted. Why well, doesn't even mention the possible uses of these blood crystals? Hmm? What's this? A piece of parchment has been inserted between the pages. Calculations on the number of test subjects required to create one blood crystal. I see. And there's a note. First specimen successfully synthesized and delivered. Delivered? Could it be that someone commissioned that frightful stone? Hmm. I can only speculate, but could whoever is behind this be connected to the stolen tome I seek? Where, where am I? Aha! Ah, you're back with us, good miss. I'm feeling. Are you okay? The drugs that Alpha Man gave you are still affecting you. Pray rest until your strength returns. Uh... Who are you? Excuse me. An excellent question, my dear, and on to be more uh, and one that'd be more happy to more than happy to answer, Jesus. <laughs> Wooing a poor old girl just awakened from her coma. Have you no shame? <laughs> Come now. Don't be silly on that. I was merely trying to be a gentleman. Clearly. Now then. At any rate, or oh, that there is a favor I would ask of you. <sighs> Another one, not my complete lack of surprise. The truth is I found on our kidnapper's person a bridge translated copy of From the Far Reaches of Hell. What was that? You're kidding. Needless to say, this could be a tremendous lead. Thusly. I need to find out where and by whom the volume was translated. Mm -hmm. Let me have a look. Hmm. Whoever bound this spared no expense. Indeed. I thought the same. There are few bookmarks in the room that could produce such a tome. Bookmakers. <sighs> Fine, I'll help. <laughs> you have my... Yeah, my thanks. Aha! Eureka! Did you find something? Hmm. The thin yet sturdy pages are characteristic of paper made from the finest pine wood. While the texture of the vivid red binding reveals its unmistakably tanned lambskin. There's only one place in the realm where both can be found in sufficient quantities. Which means that Stone Guard. I am certain of it. Mm -hmm. So that's where you will travel. Yes. Where else I must track down this tome of that. And I must do so before any more horrors can be unleashed upon our fair realm. I see. I wasn't asking, you know. <laughs> Forgive me. You're not the boss, but I've experience in hunting wild goats. Oh, well, that's interesting. Their fur and hide aren't highly valued, especially when unmarred by wounds. Instead of using a bow, I often build traps when I hunt goats. I see. I stalk the quarry, then herd it toward my pit or snare until it's caught. Different different means for different prey. Hunting is not as simple as it seems. 
In all things, thou must find the proper way to achieve thy goal. Wouldn't thou eat in soup with a fork, steak with a spoon? Excellent examples. Both you both. You state your case most pursuers. I have a talent for teaching. Perhaps it is something you might pursue in the future. Me, a teacher? I think not. You seem very sure about that. Prefer to hunt. Well, pedagogues. Pedagog. Pedagogy? Pedagogues' losses is hunting is gain. I don't know. Whatever. Pedagogy? I don't know. I'm gonna shut up now before I embarrass myself more. Let's head out. There's always a repeat scene at the end here. You're still here. I am, but not a moment longer. Thank you for everything, Odette. I am in your... Debt. There's a guy to the right there, in the black coat. Shady looking. You helped out a little here. What say we call it even? Be safe, Cyrus. I have a hunch you're poking around in something far more sinister than either of us can imagine. I am well aware of the danger. I will exercise due caution. Due caution? I'll believe it once you quit diving headfirst into whatever you think smells of mystery. A man cannot so easily change his God's given disposition. You said it was 15 years ago that the tome was stolen. That I did. As you may recall, the then headmaster of the academy died under mysterious circumstances that very same year. And you believe the two incidents are connected somehow? No, I just like spouting valedictory trivia. But now that you mention it, the disorder following the incident would offer a convenient opportunity to misappropriate an article from the archives, wouldn't you say? Your insight is invaluable and appreciated. I will keep this in mind. I mean it, Cyrus. Be careful out there. I will. And I'll return as soon as I get to the bottom of this. You... Yeah, my word. Help. I'll be waiting with bells on. Interesting. This reminds me a little bit about Ophelia's thing. She was also stalked, right? Also, Primrose had some uh, shady men. And so Cyrus bit Quarry Chris Farrell. Just laid the volume he recovered from the villain, pointing into his next destination, Stoneguard in the Highlands. The original copy of the tome he sought surely lies. Cyrus forged on his, on his in search of the truth. How come I did not search for this? Oh, maybe it was part of the... Uh... Eh, that's wrong. Right, so I think we have time for... Um, Tressels as well. Might have to rush through it a little bit, but then again, Tressels is a... little bit boring compared to these ones, so that's fine. Where is the inn? I mean the... the bar. Before that though, we have to do a little bit of changing around. None. And equipment. Anything special? Yeah, we take away the health. Hill cleaver. 
Rock. That's fine, she can keep that one. Nope, not going too fast there. Getting 5,000 is a bit of a struggle. Anyways, let's see. Change party. Press up, you're on. Oh no, I mean. There we go. Well, she can't afford uh, any new skills, so we'll just add... <laughs> Look at her <laughs> with the hood. We'll add uh, a popcorn. So we have axe equipped. And first aid. And heal tip. Mental defense. I should actually give that to Ophelia, to be honest. Actually, nah. Let's give her. There we go. Sure, take the silent bandana. Two, why not? Evasion 10 is probably not that useful. Physical defense and speed probably not that useful as well. I think we need to improve. I think we have some better stuff. Vertical ring. Do I have another one? Vertical brace at 50. Jesus. There we go. Okay. We are ready. Hear a tale. Following in the footsteps of the nameless altar, you find yourself in a qu in, quar in a quarry crest very different than the one he described. Your search for business begins here. Story so far, spurred on by a curious notebook she acquired, Tressa set forth on a journey. Now she follows in the footsteps of, footsteps of an anonymous author in hopes of seeing the world. And all the treasure it holds. I'm on board with that. Now, where did I leave off? Every journey is a vast sea of opportunities, but none are quite so precious as our encounters with others. Sharing a connection with someone new, for however brief a time, is unforgettable. For it is a chance to learn about others and yourself. I'll rest here tonight in Quarry Quest, a sleepy little mining town for now at least. Rumor has it there is gold in these hills, and many a prospector has set their eyes on it. I wonder what encounters might await me here. Mm. Mm. This must be Quarry Crest. Will there really be gold here? Eureka! Asked and answered, I guess? <laughs> gold! I've struck gold! Now this is something to write home about. Huh? Where there is one, there is more. I'll, I'll find them all. <laughs> Not if I find them first. Yes, there really is gold in these their mines. There's hills. Some something tells me this may be a good place to set up shop. 
stay your hands. It's Mr. Murloc. Good to see you. Good to see you all toiling so earnestly. Who is this Mr. Murloc? Look, sir, real gold. How much do you reckon it's worth? You see that beautiful nugget? Hmm. You have to take it off your hands for a reasonable sum. I'll say it once more, so listen well. This mine and all the land surrounding it is sole property of the steen Mr. Merlin. As such, any old gold discovery here is his by right. But fortunately for you, Mr. Morlock is a generous man. He'll buy the gold off anyone who finds it. So keep digging and you might find yourself with riches beyond measures. <laughs> Woohoo! I see. Looks like, miss, looks like this Murloc fellow has an iron grip on this mine. I guess that means I won't be dealing in gold here. But still... And my merchant senses tell me this town presents a lucrative business opportunity. Right. So before we go... As we saw in the fight there... It says... Enhancements, right? This is an augment, so that didn't work. It didn't get a plus one. Grant a single ally the ability to reflect one elemental attack. Well, now that I have Tressa, I don't really need to... Answer is taken. This is Augment. So I think augments are for defense and enhance is for offense. We need to try this. So we remove dancer from this dude. But then what do we add? Cleric? Oh, that's pretty poop. Cleric. I need to figure this stuff out. And we give her dancer. Keep this. And before we change to the show Moskwan, we try. Oh, this is Gideon Stagger, by the way. Nothing amazing, it seems like. Do I care? Elemental attack, do we care? Let's go with evasion one, it's fine. Uh, right, so we keep uh, this the way it is. And in the fight, next fight, whatever that is, we will try Lion's Dance. And see if this uh, is an augment or an enhance. And then I will switch to the Dancer ability. And yeah, we'll see... Uh, if uh, we can find a way to get two stacks of Reflective Veil with only one cast, that would be great. That would be broken. I dig and dig and dig and I still can't find any gold. Dash it! 
Curse my bad luck. I thought this would be my chance to turn it around. I'm such a fool. I even borrowed money to get this far. How can I ever face my wife again? What's that? Excuse me, excuse me, sir. I'll buy those stones from you. You will? Dull black stone gives off a bright shine when polished properly. Haggling successful. Oh, okay, I can haggle. You have use of my goods? Bless you. Always looking for a bargain. I can sell those to you in good con consciousness. They're just lousy rocks. <laughs> eh, yeah, but I insist. I'm a merchant and I feel like there's more to these than meets the eye. A case, they're all yours. Thank you kindly. Wow! Aha! I knew it! Underneath that grime mixer was a gorgeous gem just waiting to be discovered. Well, well. Quite the eye, <laughs> young lady. Huh? Pardon? Those are the same stones I bought. <laughs> right, you are. I'm traveling merchant. Ollie's the name. I'm Tressa. Tressa, I'm traveling merchant. I'm a traveling merchant too. I've never seen stones that glow quite like this. They look just like ordinary rocks at first, but I'll take more than. But it'll take more than that to fool me. <laughs> you have no idea what you bought, do you? Should I? Indeed. These are sky stones. They're rare, but you can find them if you know where to look. At first, they're perfectly unremarkable rocks, but apply some quality elbow grease. And you have yourself a gorgeous gemstone. No way! I had no idea. <laughs> and still, you bought all those stones. Heck of a green pea you are. What? Green pea? See you around. I'll keep up the good work. See you around, green pea. How dare he call us Green Pea? Ha! <laughs> green Pea is just a mean pea. <laughs> and I don't have time for that now. I have stones that need selling. It's gonna end up in problems with Murloc, isn't she? Step right up! Come on, come on. Be the first to get your hands on one of the rarest treasures in the realm. Gold? <laughs> nope, it's better than gold. Now feast your eyes on this. The shimmering sky stone. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Ho! Look how it sparkles. <laughs> oh. Let me see. <laughs> oh, quite the beauty, isn't it? Why, Never I seen anything like it. <laughs> It's absolutely breathtaking. Yes. Yes, but did you know the sky stone radiance is surpassed only by its rarity? <laughs> so if you'd like one on your of your own, this might be your only chance. I see. I'll take one. What a scammer! <laughs> Splendid. <laughs> oh, me too. Pleasure doing business with you. Yeah, those stones practically sold themselves. Yeah. This place really is good for business. Time to stock up the shop. Good, good investment, actually. Pretty insane. Why I'll be a sky stone. A significant discovery to be sure. Do you know how much sky do you know much about sky stones, Professor Albright? I dare say I've read a book or two about them, I can't say they're a type of ore, but I failed to recognize the stone for what it was, even when put before me. 
But your eyes saw true. Perhaps it is your merchant's instinct at work. Maybe, honestly, I wasn't certain these rocks were so valuable. But in trade, good opportunities don't come by every day. So you just have to roll the dice when you see one. Indubitably. I must confess, I was quite impressed at the way you managed to sell those stones. Seeing the potential of trade in every part of life. You are a true merchant's merchant. It is a clever game you play, Tressa. Hope you see, hope to see more of it. It's a deal, Professor. That was a lot, so let's just get this. Before some sort of crash or something screws us over. Right, um, now let's end up in problems. Let's find trouble. Okay. What exactly are we doing here? Ah. Oh. So, these guys here don't actually have names, they have registration numbers, which is a little bit, like, iffy. Mysterious ore, sure. I'm not buying that stone. I'll just steal it off you later, that soul stone. Later, I mean, I'm still, still, all of that off you later. Let's guide someone. I need, I need a soldier. Someone for Ophelia. Who to guide? Uh, I mean, I can try to steal it. It'll go for it. This ain't looking good. Damn. Oh, let's guide you. Okay, well that's absolutely... Need a fighter. Pure poison. Ah, what, uh, what the hell? <laughs> as long as we have somebody. Somebody's brainwashed to do fighting for us. Ranked the hundred and second most productive out of twelve hundred seventy-four. Okay. Make for the bazaar. Is this where we end up in trouble and get to spank some booty? And by spank some booty, I mean murder a merchant or like a landlord, I guess. the proud owner of these lovely gems for just a fraction of her prices. What? <laughs> <laughs> what a dirty trick. Setting up shop right next to me? 
I won't go down without a fight. They certainly are beautiful. But what makes your stones different from hers? You won't find purer sky stones anywhere. Just look at them. You can see all the way through. Not a single blemish or impurity to be found. Dazzling, is it not, milady? Almost as dazzling as your eyes. Well, when you put it that way... Resorting to cheap flattery. Does he have no shame? Do you have a daughter, my good sir? That dolls of Boulderfall make, no? A precious gift for a precious little girl, no doubt. Indeed it is. Ah, clearly you're the type of father who wants only the best for his darling child. Do you truly believe that doll will suffice? The Sky Stone is as pure, innocent, and beautiful as a daughter's love. And every time she sees its radiant glow, she'll remember her dear father who gave it to her. Its light will connect her to you, no matter how far you may travel. Dear father, where do you roam? Dear father, when will you come home? Voice acting is good. Pretty good. Surely you can see why this would be the best purchase you'll ever make. You can just see her smiling face now. What a pleasant young man. Y'all yeah, take one. <laughs> You're most welcome, my good sir. What? Step right up. There's not a moment to spare if you want a rare sky stone to call your own. You won't find them anywhere else. I promise you won't be disappointed. I'll take one, please. One for me, too. Thank you. <laughs> Woo, would you look at that? Business is booming. Well, maybe not for all of us. You win this round. There's no way I'd lose to a green pea like you. I'll admit, I've never seen anyone make a sale like that before. Practice makes perfect. If you want to survive in this world, you need to learn how to tug heartstrings and loosen purse strings. But being a merchant is about more than just making a sale. A good merchant should understand what their customer needs and sell them what's best. What I sell may not be what they need, but it is what they want. What's wrong with a little embellishment? Embellishment? A merchant's words are like a warrior's blade. Don't forget it, Green Pea. <laughs> Let's see what they have to say. Hmm. This Ollie fellow seems rather good at this. I can't believe he got away with that. I must confess I've never met anyone so smooth of tongue. In a way, it's hard to not admire him. Ophelia, whose side are you on anyway? Why well, yours, of course. This isn't over, I swear I'll make more, more coin than him before we're through. Just so, and I shall offer a blessing for your success. Do you think I need to practice my sales pitch? You mean to be more persuasive? Like Ali? No, not like him exactly, but if I did practice, maybe I'd be better at selling things. Oh well, I suppose it could have just been practice that makes him sound so clever. Exactly! So all I need to do is practice more. 
In fact, I'll start now. You pretend to be the customer, right? Wait, what? <laughs> right, that's a lot of talking. Good voice acting, though, from both. From both the Tressa and uh, Ali there. The guy who voice acting, the guy there, has had some experience voice acting uh, roguish characters, that's for sure. He knew how to uh, voice it. So hungry. But after that miserable show, I need to save my money. Hello there. Your finest meat ball, sir. Hmm? Well, if isn't, well, if it isn't Greenpea, you're looking famished. Here, I take you on a. I take it you're on a tight budget now. Keep it! <laughs> I refuse to take pity food from a rifle. Oh, alright. Suit yourself? Say. So why do you take up this line of work anyhow? Anyway, anyhow. You see. Both my parents are merchants, so I guess it just came naturally. And now I'm wandering the world and learning the trade as I go. Well, well. You don't say, my old man's a merchant too. In the south, everyone and their uncles heard of Maruf the merchant. He was such a smooth talker he could sell sand in the desert. But he never once told a lie. In just a few words, my dad could get anyone to buy what he was selling and make them feel genuinely happy about their purchase. It was like magic. His words had an incredible power, one that could help people see the beauty in things they purchased. And then... So I decided to follow in my old man's footsteps. Really? Did he take up the family business? No. No, I ran away from home. What? I'll spare the details, that's just how things played out. I see. It wasn't so different for me, you know. <laughs> hey, you don't say. Now then. Well, I got another busy day ahead of me. Better luck tomorrow, eh? Yeah! Same to you, and may the best merchant win. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, well, you seem to be doing well for yourself. Illegal though your business may be. Mm. And who are you? <clears throat> Watch your tone, boy. Mr. Murdoch owns this establishment as well as everything else in this town. <clears throat> that I most certainly do. Hey now. That's great and all, but what do you mean by illegal? May own all the gold, but this is where just dusty old rocks until I polish them to sh to shin. Uh -uh. That pompous attitude will get you in trouble someday, boy. As a landowner here, Mr. Murdoch has a right to oversee any and all business transactions he sees so desires. As of now, that includes the trading of your little rocks. Hmm. Does it now? That seems awfully arbitrary, if you ask me. That wouldn't be the first foul thing to happen here. Or weren't you aware, Mr. Murdoch, you see the price of gold? Actually, it's actually ten times what you're giving to your miners. <sighs> Ali. Maybe this isn't the time. It's exactly the time. You're deceiving honest, hardworking people just to line their their pockets. On my honor as a merchant, I won't stand for it. Omar teaches little desert and what happens to pests who try to stain my good name. Ready to be squashed? I'd like to see you try. Hey yeah! I'm stronger than I look. I'm well versed in all the martial arts. Let's do this. Oh, the one man army, they call me in the south. The mere mention of my name strikes fear into the hearts of any who would wrong the common man. I've killed more people than I can count, and all with one hand. Then you make a fine opponent. Ugh. Who could have seen this coming? Uh... <laughs> the one man army? <laughs> 
Uh, a merchant's weapon is his worst. We don't stand a chance in a real battlefield. I fight but lo was lost the instant we came to a blo came to blows. <laughs> I trust you here and learned your lesson, Ant. <laughs> Looks like your wares aren't selling so well. Don't worry, I'll take them off your hands. These stones belongs to me. You understand? If you're so determined to have them, though, I'll let you be my little worker ant. I'll be in my manor. Come find me if you want a real job. <laughs> <laughs> Poor dude. Can't believe that man. How dare he take advantage of people to line his own pockets. It's just dirty. I don't agree with everything he does, but I do agree with what he said to Murloc. Yes, let's go save him. Here we go, we're more diplomatic about it. I have to save him. There we go. Took us some time, but he got there. Murloc said he'd be in his manner. It's time to pay him a visit. Sky stones. Three. Are you going to help, Ali? That's the plan. Thought it was your sworn, sworn enemy in the trading business. He was and is, but only in business. He hasn't been good for many. He hasn't been good for my sales, but it's not like I hate him as a person, you know. Don't you think this is the perfect chance to get rid of a thorn in your side? Maybe that's how thieves work, but not honest traders. Gets in my ner gets on my nerves for sure, but that's the point. If I don't beat him fair and square, but what's the point if I don't beat him square, fair and square? Suit yourself. I'll not be taking advice from thieves, thank you very much. She's got some steel in her bones, this one. Oh, did you say something? Nothing important, pay no mind to this thief. <laughs> oh, I don't like the way they're treating Therion. He's your damage dealer, you know? Party? Like, he's the DPS, he's the assassin, you gotta treat him better. It's like treating your servers and your cooks and stuff like that in restaurants nice because, you know, they're handling your food. Like waiters and waitresses and bartenders and chefs and stuff like that, you can't be rude to them. You never know what they do. Um, this is the wrong way. Same thing goes with DPS and healers, I guess. You can't treat your DPS poorly. What if they just walk away? It's gonna kill the boss for you, huh? Danger level 17? Oh, this is lame. Um... I think... Because I don't know how long is left. I don't want to make the episode way too long. Uh, it seems to be right up here. Can't we settle this like gentlemen? Out of my way. Can we flee this? Okay, good. Let's turn on... Because uh, it's just 17. Turn on... Basic maneuvers. I'll just get out of here real quick. This is the beginning of your end. Uh, they take a little bit of time to kill, so let's just nice. We're not gonna get much out of fighting level 17 creatures, you know. 5,000, nice. Okay. Since we're pretty much here, I'll finish it, I guess. I was thinking of maybe taking a break and then going to rob the next place and prepare for next ep the next episode and just finish this, but, you know. Let's make a lo longer one if we need to. 
Just a spotted money. Cool. Never say no to money. On, I've got better things to do. Are you weak to I that guy? No. We'll analyze these uh, new enemies and then we uh, then we turn on the basic maneuvers. Anyways, let's try this out. Okay, so we have our dancer here. What happens? Okay, so I got two turns out of that one. Holy shit, why is Tressa so low? Did I forget to forget to heal her? Off the carry first aid. Yeah. Over here. My turn. So it's a spell though that the dog is weak to. I don't know what it is. I appreciate I don't remember the spell order. Let's see. It says boost for two turns. Okay, so Ophelia's passive will not grant more of this. What about Augment? Single allies elemental attack for two turns. The peacock struck. Also two. What does Ophelia actually do with her passive then? I need to I need to check this out. Because uh Let's just steal some. Cyrus is coming in next turn. The ionized railgun orbital cannon is coming in next turn to do some work. Such a simple fight. And we go down. Alright, let's just do some work. Out of my way. Aw, close. Well then. Okay, so this one is not buffed with an additional turn. Reflective Veil is not buffed with an additional turn. Lion Stance, nope. And Peacock Strut, nope. So, nothing is buffed <laughs> from her passing. <laughs> In terms of duration, right? What to do? So what the hell does it even do? How is that? So it's level, that's good. If I then do this instead... All status enhancements you receive... Oh, receive! Okay, what about the show must go on? You grant ah, that's the problem. Ah, okay. Let's try this. Show must go on, or show goes on, whatever. Okay, so weirdly enough, it's better to have that on someone else. Okay. Let's see. I will not be defeated. Reflective veil. Will your barbs. No, it only gives one. Ugh, that sucks. I guess it's not an argument. I mean, it 
kind of expected that to happen. Oh shit! Okay. Over here. My turn now. Let's do this. I just need to find out what the thing is weak to. It's probably a sword. Okay, so that didn't work. What about... Allies elemental defense for two turns? It should be three. Yeah, okay, so it worked on that. Fair enough. How about physical attacks? Does that also get plus one? Yep, physical attacks. I'm guessing Light. elemental attack also gets plus one. What's your Here I go. Thank you. <laughs> Try that on the next one, and then we'll swap back. And try to buff ourselves with Reflective Veil again? No, it doesn't work. I remember. I actually remember. Boosting it one time only gave uh, Ophelia... Two. Two turns of protect protection from Reflective Veil. Out of my way. So it actually doesn't work. Not be defeated. That's a bummer. Augment the single ally's elemental attack for two turns. And we're up to three. Okay. Not bad. A passing. That is a little bit disappointing. Not gonna lie. Cause, um, all status enhancements you receive will last for one additional turn. Yeah. What are the buffs you can get from the warrior? Same psych augment. No defense. Yeah, that is a little bit of a bummer. Like, Reflective Veil is probably... One of the most important... God, that's a lot of... Uh... I'm gonna just hit them all with sword. Probably one of the most important buffs. For su surviving long fights. Okay, a lot of weaknesses here to figure out. We're getting through them though. That's fine. No? Ice, okay. Well then. Oh, wrong. I meant to do that on the other one. It's fine.
Oh, I barely got any SP for that. Don't Probably didn't have a lot of life left, so you only got a percentage. You don't get overhealed from doing damage to enemies, it seems. We done down here? Yeah. This is the beginning of your end. Probably gonna turn on evasive <laughs> maneuver soon. I appreciate it, really. A little bit of a connection collection there. Nice. What's your mind? I'll do my best. I hope I grow more able. Okay, hopefully we are by the boss. A little bit longer than I thought. Sorry about that. It's probably one more room. Yeah. We'll deal with it. Make this quick. My turn. I appreciate it, really. My turn now. Just huh? blast them away. An interesting dilemma. <sighs> you should have studied harder. New enemy? I don't even know if uh, gathering information of this enemy is actually do does anything in doing Oh crap, he's dead. An interesting dilemma. Let's do this. Collect money. You can spend a little bit of money here, so. Buying that axe. It cost me a little bit of money. Oh. Hasty helm. Sounds cool. There's nothing. I've done my research on you. Can someone explain to me why there are birds in this mansion? Like, <laughs> flying around widely? Is that a common thing back in the day? Well then. Night Ode, bring your shame. I hope I grow more able. Okay, we're here. I'll Some make chess. Quick. Can I just flee from this? Omar. How fair are my coffers? Overflowing as always. I expect even greater profits with those stones. <laughs> yes. Let's go beat them up. As if it wasn't wealthy enough, if it wasn't wealthy enough already, to think those dirty rocks would prove more valuable than gold. Uh, those rocks belong to us. Oh, perhaps some morale your brains a bit too hard. 
Let me remind you that this land, all of it belongs to me. So even if the lands like you manage to dig up something beneath the surface, it's mine. You don't want to take an enemy out of make an enemy out of me. I can crush bugs like you with the bottom of my shoe. Between the mines and the souls, my profits will continue to grow. So no matter time before I'm the wealthiest man in the realm. <laughs> Green pea. <laughs> Come to inquire about a job, have you? Very well. I'd sooner eat those rocks than work for you. You're as much of a fool as the boy is then. To think two self-styled merchants would be so averse to making money. You should know that I pay my loyal men quite well. Everyone has a price. I understood that more than ever after I chased out that stubborn old landlord and took control here. God, it speaks slow. You what? There's nothing that money can't buy. So, what's your price, boy? On second thought, never mind. You're Maroof's well, aren't you? For all I know, you could be a fraud just like your old man. Uh... A fraud? Shut up! Didn't he tell you? His father's an infamous swindler in the South. He made a fortune scamming gullible sops with fanciful half-truths. <laughs> Until, that is, he got swindled himself. By a trusted friend of all people. Saddled with debt, poor Maroof ended up bankrupt. A sad tale, no? <laughs> Ali? There's no room for emotions in business. The poor, stupid fool. See that one more time. What's that? Insult my father's name one more time and I'll... My father was a good, honest man. He sold his customers what they wanted. And his words made them happy. Your father was nothing but a lousy, lying dog. Those with money make the rules, boy. Second-rate peddlers like you and your old man should shut up and die like the paupers you are. You son of a... If you won't work for me, I'll just find another way to make money off of you. You won't sell for much, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> Mr. Morlock. Oh, it's Morlock, not Morlock. Never in my life have I heard someone spout such cruel words. Your coffers may be overflowing, but you're still morally bankrupt. Oh, go on. You make a mockery out of others like you're getting paid for it. You cheat your workers out of their hard-earned money and monopolize their profits. If anyone's a swindler here, it's you. It seems you've forgotten your own manners. Omar, 
Let's help the girl remember her place. It's time you learned that money is might! Now, let's get down to business. There we go. This is gonna take a little bit longer let's than I thought. This. It's fine though. I hope you guys don't mind. Let's try to look for some weaknesses here. We already know that the big guy is a weak to daggers. Let's figure out these guys. Fortunate. What is the logical course of action? Ah, so much to learn. Okay, lightning and axe. I'll not be defeated. Uh, am I afraid of magic here? Nah, I'm not. Let's see if they're weak to. Uh... Bring your no, they're not. I mean, the big one. Are you weak to fire? Don't play. No. Well, not that. What to do? Ice. You're on thin ice. Yep. My turn. It's time to start doing stuff. Just hit them all. Ah, oh, well. Let's wait. I appreciate it. Really. Here I go. Set with wind. Let's just go for a pretty high heal. Go. It's fine. My turn now. Sure, let's summon someone. <laughs> Why not? I appreciate it. I am gonna... I'm actually gonna go full lightning blast here just so we get rid of the help. Oh, they didn't die. Okay. Let's do this. Then I will boost this as well. There we go. Can I steal? I'm not able to steal. Okay. Well... I was gonna buff him before I did this, but... Eighteen thousand nine hundred left. We already dealt, dealt quite a bit of damage. Do this. Anything fun we can do here? Uh, yeah, sidestep is fine. My turn now. And I'm running out of uh, mana, so let's just use an inspiring plot. This should help. Wait, why did I attack? An interesting dilemma. Which passable is that? I need to check. Um, right. Let's do this. <laughs> I appreciate it. Really. My turn now. Okay. Dancer skill. Let's go with uh, one ally's physical attacks become more powerful. Oh, it's the little dude that we summoned, right? <laughs> okay, so what order do we attack? Don't do anything yet.
don't want to attack yet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna defend. You will not. Oh, damn it. Little guy broke. That's okay. And then we go thief skill, we do reduce physical defense. Nice. Slap him, honestly. I'll not be defeated. Summon him. <laughs> Cure poison. Thank you, friend. What is the logical course of action? Okay. Then we see how high we can get our damage here. So his uh, our defense is weakened, our attacks are up. Time to steal the show. Thirteen thousand eight hundred. Go. <laughs> Where's the nearest tavern? Oh, that happened. No. Tomorrow, and after I spent on you. Give up, Mr. Morlock, you've lost. Now apologize to Ali for what he said about his father, mm -hmm. Green Pea. Hey! Well, Mr. Morlock? <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <laughs> I'm so terribly, profusely sorry. Profusely. I'll take it all back, every word. So... Good. I take, you'll, take it you'll be leaving this town never to return. Mm. I'll leave town, but... But I... Not so fast. Being a good merchant is all about timing. You need to know when to cut your losses. Or have you heard of a s of sunk costs? Me. <laughs> I foresee great misfortune in your future if you stay. Come, Omar. Quite a better opportunities await us. Ah. Ah. There you go. Okay, let's wrap this chapter up. <laughs> hey, 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 good riddance. Now to find someone honest to run this town. Tressa. As much as I hate to say this, I owe you one. And a merchant always pays his debts. You have my word. <laughs> I'll hold you to it. What Morlock said about my old man, it's true. Some did call him a swindler. But it was a lie spread by competitors who were jealous of his talent. And while it's true my father was deceived by his friend and forced to take on his debt, it doesn't diminish the things he taught me. Our words have the power to make our customers happy. So I'll follow in my father's footsteps, work hard, and go back home with enough money to pay our debts in full. Ali! Say, have you ever heard of the Merchant's Fair? It's the greatest auction in the realm held each year in Grandport. The wealthiest and most influential people the world over come to feast their eyes on treasures beyond your imagination. They say there's nothing you can't buy at the Merchant's Fair. That sounds incredible. I'm going to go there and make my dreams come true. If you can make it at the fair, you can make it anywhere. You really do have a way with words, Ali. Guess I'll be seeing you in Grandport. I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> well, we still need to have our rematch. And what better place to settle the score than the Merchant's Fair? <laughs> I'll bring my best treasure. If you think you stand a chance, I suggest you do the same. I'll find the greatest treasure there is. You'll see. Good. Once you have it, come find me at the fair. I'll be the one drawing the largest crowd. They won't stick around for long after I get there. 
<laughs> You're sounding less green already, Green Pea. See you at the fair. Sharing a connection with someone new, for however brief a time, is unforgettable. After we met, all I wanted to do was forget Ollie. But he sure knows how to make a lasting impression. Now, I think I've found a good rival in him. Funny how things turn out, no? And oh shit. Okay, next destination of merchants. Okay. For now, I'll follow in the footsteps of the nameless traveler and make for Victor's Hollow. There I'll find myself a treasure beyond my wildest dreams. Okay, that's it. All right, this episode got long. Sorry about this. Took a little bit longer than I thought, so I won't waste any time. I will see you in this one. Next, uh, next one. Bye.